Hello, hello. We are uh, recording a new video today covering the demo for Odd Sparks, an automation adventure. I watched a YouTuber uh, play this, and I don't know why their name's slipping me. I think their name was Christopher Odd, maybe? I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, but they were playing this, and they said it was like a combination of Factorio meets Lemmings which Lemmings I had never played, but I know of Factorio. Uh, it also gave me some like Pikmin vibes. So we're gonna check this out. Uh, currently, if you're interested, the demo is up on Steam. Um, and as you can see on the right here, they are planning to release an early access sometime this year. So woohoo. Um, at the time of recording the video, they don't have a date yet. So we'll see. Let's start a new game. Uh, we'll just leave on the default for the demo. Oh, it's going to be multiplayer. Did you see that? That's exciting. Oh, my poncho is way darker than I thought. Oh, wait, that's not me, is it? Oh, interesting. I edited my character. They have a little character editor, but it looks like not all the colors transferred over. But it is darker than what I'm actually seeing here. It is a calm and quiet day and you are relaxing on a bench. All of your daily tasks are done and the warm sun gently lulls you to a midday nap. You dream of an adventure, of a more exciting life than the one you have right now in the frontier village. When suddenly, an intense crash comes down from the fields and wakes you up. Oh, big crash, big crash. Where the heck could the crash have been? Clean up the- oh, oh, I see. There's a- if you look at the top right, there's an arrow. It says clean up the shed. It's clear that there's no way to fix the shed, and you begin to clean up the area. As you clean the debris and the shard's wood, you find a gleaming metal object in the middle of the mess. This must have been the thing that crashed into and destroyed your shed. Unsure of what you- what it is, you pick up the strange metal object, and you put it away for now. You should first replace your shed. Okay. Ooh, okay, so I can gather. I am trying it on a controller. I don't know if that would be my best bet, but hey, we're trying it. Uh, what's that say? Pine sapling. Use the right stick to rotate and zoom the camera. Okay. Ah, controls. Got it. They have an unstuck button. I don't know if that makes me feel better or not. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Where do I need to go? Rotate the camera. Okay, I have to do the tutorial portion. Zoom the camera. Um, open the map to find the woodsman. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. There's the map. The woodsman. Quartermaster. Mission. Mayor. Oh, woodsman has the exclamation point. That makes sense. Talk to the woodsman and complete your rebuilding the shed quest. Hello, woodsman. Something crashed into your shed? Well, sure. I can teach you how to fix up a new one. Um, accept and pin. Oh, that's nice. Or you can simply accept it. But we need wooden logs. Okay. You can get wooden logs from the logger. Or harvest them from bushes around the village. Deliver them to quest givers by putting them in their storage. Great, just give me some wood logs from the loggers around me. I'll be... Pre Prepare you some sawn timber to build the shed. So this would be a logger. Uh, I guess I just put this in here? No? Or do I... Oh, I do. Okay, I did do it. Do I hold? Oh, I hold. I don't know if that did it. 
Okay. Oh, okay. I just grab and put it back. I feel silly. I wasn't sure. So then I come over here. And I really like the art, the icon art style. I did it! Complete. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Here's that song, Timber. Now all you have to do is rebuild the shed. Um, okay, so we'll head back over here and we'll rebuild the shed. Somewhere over here. Was it let me put it right in the middle? I mean, I guess I will. Okay, so we did it. And now it wants me to talk to the divine researcher who's straight up ahead. Easy peasy. Hmm, you need my help with that weird thing? I love weird things. Let me see. Ooh, what if we poke it right? The strange piece of metal you picked up from the broken shed comes alive. It wraps itself around your brooch and staff. And suddenly, a wealth of information enters your mind. Days, you look at the ancient tablet nearby to the researcher and realize you can understand the ancient writings. The ancient tablet seems particularly wrecked, but you can definitely read some of the text. Something about magic. Devastation? A spark. Something about hope. You relay everything to the researcher. You, you can understand it? This is incredible, amazing news. I, oh, you must look at the village monument for me. Accept and pin. Go without me, I'll just slow you down. You come back and tell me what you find, you hear? I didn't realize I walked off a cliff just a second ago. The village monument loops quietly with the weight of its ears be years behind it. You extend your hand and the strange metal in your brooch radiates a soft light. Suddenly, the carvings on the stones itself begins to shift into text. You barely have time to understand what you see as writing appears and disappears. You can't catch all of the information. Something about being last accessed several million days ago. The word danger catches your eye. Clearly, the monument is much more than you had all assumed. The words settle for a moment. Dangerous levels of corrupted ether detached. Cleansing pulse routine initiated. You can hear the monument rattle. Something inside is trying to happen. But nothing happens. Etheric cleansing failed. Function keys missing. Cleansing routine recommended. Danger to life critical. A piece of the stone moves aside to reveal a handful of empty key slots. You should tell the divine researcher about everything you found. On our way to inform the researcher. So, at the beginning of this demo, it does say there's about three hours of content, which we're obviously not going to cover all of it, but just an FYI. You describe everything you've seen when the village monument was activated to the divine researcher. The strange text, the missing spark keys, how it tried to do a cleansing pulse, but failed. The divine researcher's natural smile falls as he tries to digest everything. We've had individuals explore the north past the woodlands and even past the mountains. The ones that traveled the furthest returned ill and talked about how the magic, the magic, the ether itself felt strange. Some had used the word corrupted. Uh -huh. It would explain a lot. The village monument can clean corrupted ether. It did seem odd that this was, this place was so perfect to make a new village in. Sounds like we should turn it on and try it out. I suppose we'll have to find out the missing, to find the missing spark keys, and perhaps more. I'll see what I can dig up, first in my notes. Aww. The village has existed for a few decades now without any problems. I don't think the threat is so immediate that we'll all fall sick out of nowhere. Just be careful on your adventures. Off we go, can I jump? No, 
Uh oh. Oh, okay, I thought I was stuck. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to use the unstuck button. <laughs> okay, here we go. Where was I going? Oh, activating the monument. <laughs> How do I... Is there a button to activate? Quest log. However, finding even a single spark key. Oh, I see. It will not be possible to complete this quest for a while. Maybe someone in the village will figure something out as you progress. Okay. So it at least tells me that much. So then what do I do? I guess I'll talk to villagers. Mm. Mm, just tell me if there's anything you'd like from the city. Okay, I guess you're not going to help me. Anything in the shed? No. The way the animation walk is, it makes me feel real slow. Oh, whoa, I picked up speed. Oh, I can talk to him again. Ah, hmm. oh, but for now, there are lots of ancient shrines you could translate. I know there are quite a few in the woodlands. Perhaps they even reveal more about our mystery. You're technically not allowed to go out there. It's quite, it could be quite dangerous, but I won't tell anyone. Okay. So just keep going through the old mine shaft and there should be some strange looking little building. I call them ancient shrines. It has a kooky little golden statue on the top. You have my permission, so go have a fun adventure. Okay. To the, to the mine shaft? Is that where I'm going? The old mine shaft, yes. Okay, we made it. Oh wait, what's that? What's that? Hi. Can I can I talk to you? Can I do anything? You start looking at the shrine, but as you look closer, it's more evident that it's not actually a shrine, but some kind of machine. You extend your hand and the strange metal brooch radiates with a soft light. With a touch, the machine rumbles as it works by itself. After a short moment, the machine stops and displays some writing. From what you can understand, the shrine is usually ca usually is capable of making something called a stumpy spark. However, it's currently broken and is asking for some items to fix itself. Okay. You touch the shrine and a small hatch opens to reveal a slot to put the items inside. You leave it for now. Can I pick up any of this? Picking up things is a... Something something of logs. <laughs> Okay, so I can gather rock. I wonder if that pink light up there is an ether shard. It does. Can I like quick transfer? Yep, perfect. So, do these make sticks or logs? Ah, oh, they make logs, look at that. I really like the art style though. It makes me want to learn 3D. Lately I've seen a lot of 3D. Sorry, adjusting my chair. A lot of 3D games that have like a really nice aesthetic, like oops. Oh cool, a quick wheel. A nice aesthetic and then like a really hand-drawn UI. Like, see everything's 3D, and then if we go over here. The UI is all hand drawn. I really like it. I think Coral Island does that. My time at Sandrock did that. And this one now does that. Can I split? Thank. Oh, hold. I think I just need one of those. And then we'll do that. Oh. I hit the wrong button. There we go. Oh, and now I have to hit complete. The shrine slowly roars to life. It takes the items and begins to fix itself. It seems to be running some kind of test and is checking to see if everything still works. <gasps> Suddenly, it spits out a strange creature into your arms. The shrine notes that the stumpy spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. Stumpy Spark stares at you, and it seems ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything can be done, 
With a puff of magic, the stumpy spark turns into a wooden disc that fits in your hand. With the spark's deactivation successful, the shrine claims it is now fully operational and ready to be assigned sparks. The strange metal in your, in your staff changes and slots that fit can fit the disc appear. You place it in and the stumpy spark begins to follow you. Do I have him? Oh, there they are! Look at it! Oh my gosh. I think it's supposed to be like Pikmin. Like I think I can... Oh, in a mode, you can throw the sparks equipped in your active sparks bar. You can also call them back. Wrong. It says to call back with B if you're on controller, but that opens the menu. So I don't know if that's a bug or if I... Oh, I have to hold LT still. Okay, okay. So collect things for me. I don't know where it takes them. Oh, it brings them to me until I can build something. Can I build like a chest or anything? No. A large building for you to store items in. Oh, but if I can get some wood. Um. Oh, is that too big for you? I guess we'll have to start small. Okay, so let's wander around here. Maybe there's like more of these guys. If I give the... a uh, thing more... Okay, so if I have five wood I can make more. Can I help it? Uh, can I like talk to it? No. Okay. So what's in here? Oh, lots of ether sparks. And I'm guessing I can't hit the tree. Nope. So I'm stuck gathering until I can get more. I probably could walk around. Throw a spark. Call back a spark. Harvest a pine sapling. What's a pine sapling? I'm I saw one at the beginning of the game. I remember that. So it was like a little tree. Pine sapling, do it. Oh, he can do it, perfect. Uh, do I have to hold this? I'm assuming until I can make it. Oh, I see. I can make... I put them in here. Okay, cute, cute. Do, 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 do. <gasps> now I have two of them. Look how cute they are. Hi, little guys. Okay, we need to harvest two pine saplings. So one, two. You two work together. And we're going to get us a third buddy. We want maximum workforce. So at the time of recording this demo, I had been playing a bit of PAL World, so I feel like I'm in the mindset to automate some stuff. 
play some automation here. I don't think I've ever actually played an automation uh type game, have I? Uh where did it go? Oh, they stack. Because they're the same type. Oh, okay, so I can have different types. Perfect. Okay, now I just gotta figure out what the heck I'm doing. Um, let's go this way. Oh, and fill a spark slot. A spark slot. Fill a spark slot in the, the stumpy shrine. Is it this? Uh, no. So where the heck is the stumpy shrine? Ancient waypoints are immediately unlocked in the demo. It requires a constant supply of fuel. That's an ancient container. It looks like a stumpy spark shrine, but this isn't a stumpy spark shrine, right? It is. Fill a spark spot slot. Oh, I see, I see. So, what does that do? Is he like... Stuck there? Can I assign him? I'm gonna bring him back. Now what? Um. Uh, okay. Awesome. I don't want to attack anything. I'm a little nervous. Ancient base. There's some big rocks. Oh, here's another shrine. You extend your hand to touch the shrine. Okay, so it's the same. I think I have... Oh, I don't have, a uh, Five, uh... Oh, wait, I just need five ether shards. Okay, I thought I needed... Something else. Okay, so the shrine's open. And then here we just need one in pellet. Oh, and it'll craft the shards for us. I see. So if I put, let's say I put five, four in there and I stick, does he work the machine? <gasps> He does! Look at him rolling. He's like a little rolling pin. Oh. B font. Yeah, they seem mean. Yes, they do look like bees, don't they? I didn't catch on to that. A boulder? Is that a boulder, right? In SpongeBob? A boulder? The cowboys used to ride these things for miles. Oh, 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 I almost got stuck. I was like looking ahead, like up towards the top of my screen. So the question is, what do I do now? I guess I collect wood and build a shed and maybe they will automate to the shed, like gather materials. I don't know. We're gathering. I kind of, the only thing is, is why don't they like go do things like with me? Like if I start chopping, you'd think they would automatically do it, but maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Of logs, I'll call them stumpies. Open. Oh, yeah, the 
What is this again? A waypoint. That's right. Do I go talk to the the dude? I do not know, but we're taking our stumpies with us. Let's go, stumpies. Is this the way? This is the way. <gasps> no. Oh, okay. I was like, can the stumpies not go with us? I would have been sad. Okay, so you run faster on paths. It's like, don't starve. Complete. You tell the divine researcher on... You tell the divine researcher on everything you've seen about the ancient shrine. Especially the rather strange creature that came out of it after you fixed it. <gasps> so they're called sparks, you say. How unusual. Clearly, I have some research to do. Hmm. They're quite cute. You should show them around. Maybe the other others in the village will have some thoughts on them. Hmm. Did you forget what I asked you to do? It happens to me, too. Oh. Oh, okay. Nothing there. I wonder if I can just get into- Oh, the chests are for when you complete a quest. That's right. Mm. What are those little guys? Sparks, you say? And you can get them to do work for you? I- Hmm. Tell me more. You see his eyes twinkle as you- In thought as you describe the ancient shrine and how the sparks work in one. He mutters and nods something and nods to himself. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Hmm. That's pretty ingenious. Right. Uh, let me have a few, will you? And get me some materials. I want to try to make a logger for your little sparks. So I need to... Oh, okay. Now we got... Now we just got to get all these materials and more stumpies. Does anybody else have anything to say about them? If so, I could get like all the quests, you know, and and come back immediately. No. The logger is the only one interested in our stumpy sparks. This was supposed to be a short first look, but I don't think we're even going to get to the the full automation capabilities. I like to keep my, like, first look videos within 30 to 45 minutes, but... Yeah, we won't get very far. We may have to do a part two. I wasn't planning on that. Okay, let's see. We need to put a stumpy in charge of making stumpies. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong button. On the controller, I keep wanting to hit Y instead of X. Okay, so... Let's put both stumpies to work. And I will... Not be able to collect logs without one. I mean, I can collect the, them from here, but... It'll be more efficient if I can get, like, a couple of stumpies. And then... Add them to the... Like, get a couple stumpies and add them to the pine saplings. Wow, did you guys already make both sparks? Okay, perfect. Excuse me, stumpies. Get that wood. And I am gathering rocks for no reason. I wonder if you can get bigger stumpies. There we go. And you guys, if I hit the right button, will do that. Oh, they were going to get it for me. 
but that's okay. How many stumpies did they want? They wanted two stumpies, five stone, and ten logs. Oh wait, I don't have three stumpies. I don't know why I thought I did. I think I just heard water. Woohoo! Now we're talking. Can two stumpies do this? No. So if this is like Pikmin, then theoretically, y'all should be able to just wreck a tree. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I guess we'll murder. I wasn't anticipating that. Look at them go! And then... We'll have him make... Have them make... Two more. Yeah, we're, we're, we're now we're talking. We're in the automation business now. Well, I know this isn't the full automation capabilities here. But man, we're gonna have so many stumpies, look! Oh wait, I want... There we go. Okay. And then I think I have the law, the, the rocks we need. Yep, yeah, let's go team. And we will do this quest. See, you can see in the background, there's lots of automation systems you can set up. Mm -hmm. No rush. Oh, I forgot to uh, deposit your goods. We need tin log and then five stone and then you need two sparks. Mm -hmm. Of course, since they're so small, they'll need a low table. It's done. One very important thing. You'll need an etheric orb to build the logger. They offset the ether in the giant trees, you see. Uh, you don't really need to know what that means, but let me tell you, I personally tried harvesting these giant trees without, a, without an etheric counterbalance, and it took two whole months to regrow my mustache. Mm -hmm. We found the etheric orb in the bee plant corpses that are around the woodlands. I'm sure you could find more. But for now, I'll give you a few that I have to spare. Oh, well, thank you. Let's go, Stumpies. Oh, they need help. Hey, so those weird dolls of yours. The woodsman was showing them off. They follow instructions, right? You think they could carry stuff too? Oh, you're just... Oh. You're just in luck. I have... I have three right here. Complete. It works. They walk up the paths that they pick up items from buildings they pass. They drop off items if the building they pass can use them. They also pick up items on path a path if it's in their way. But they can only walk they only walk on the right side of the path for some reason. Hmm. Let me show you how to make a dirt path. Okay. Try it out. Tell me how it went. Okay. Awesome. Well, this was a short little preview, but you gotta see the stumpies at least. Uh, I might make a follow-up video, we'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview of Odd Sparks. And if you did enjoy this video, 
uh, please give it a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. It means a lot. Um, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.